Good morning. I'm in the car with Christina. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you realize that me and Christina just laugh at each other and that we have identical laughs? Um, we're listening to Queen, going to my mom's. Somebody to Love is my favorite Queen song. Comment below what yours is. You can ask me what mine is. Christina, what's yours? Radio Gaga. Ooh, that is a good Put one. Five version. Yeah. Excuse me, it's bright out. It's a little late, later than I expected, but I'm getting up now, starting my 22 mile run, running all the way to Sarah's mom's house from Wrigleyville. It's gonna be a fun one. Just a few miles in, but I wanted to show you this view because it's not every day we're on Halstead anymore, coming up on the city. Different perspective of downtown. John Hancock's hiding behind that at Little Xavier, which we almost rented an apartment in that. A small studio high up but i'm heading down halstead going to uic campus before i start cutting west but wanted to show you this beautiful view different perspective different perspective of downtown again but the first big milestone of the run welcome to my alma mater university of illinois at chicago campus you can see right off of downtown this is where sarah went to school where i went to school Sarah's two sisters went to school. Sarah's dad went to school. He played baseball here. And I didn't even mean to do this. When I was looking at the route last night, Google Maps said you should just go through here anyway. So here we are. I have not been on this campus, I don't think in like over four years, maybe. This is wildly back. I mean, it's empty. It's a Sunday and campus, I don't think it's open. But right here is the art and architecture design. No. Yeah, art and architecture. I used to sit right on these boxes right here with Sarah in between. We'd have lunch there um, between classes together. This was a crazy time in my life because I was working overnights at the hotel full time while going to school full time. So I'd be like rushing here at like 7 a.m. after I got off work at the hotel, changing out of my suit, getting over here to campus to go to class, and then like either sleeping in my car here in the parking garage or. Um, um, oh, there's the quad over there. Um, or rushing home to get like three hours of sleep. But this is wild. Over there, Student Center East. Over here, we're gonna go into the quad. Here's like business offices. I took all my Italian classes in that building right there. All four Italian classes. And just a bunch of them big lecture halls. I had a realization that there's not gonna be a bathroom for me to find because if the campus is closed, all the doors are gonna be locked. But here's the quad. Here's the quad, library's right over there. Sarah designed a giant mural that is featured in that library. That's University Hall, which is actually built upside down. The top is wider than the bottom. And then over here, we've got engineering, science and engineering buildings, where I spent my like specialized classes at. But I have to figure out the path. This is when I start going Southwest towards the suburbs. Okay, last clip from campus. I'm reaching the end of it. This building here, definitely very realistically and very aggressively failed a math theory class in there. So it's okay to fail as long as you keep getting back up and get back and get your credits. But definitely failed tragically a class in that in that building. All right, what are we on? We're on, we're near the Canal Port River Walk. Coming up on Archer, I believe. Well, I'm on Ashland, but we're gonna come up on Archer soon. Just wanted to show you, there's uh, there's downtown. So there's a Sears Tower for perspective of what I was near at UIC. Um, if you're familiar with the area, Soldier Field's gonna be like over there. That right there is the Marriott Marquis attached to McCormick Place in the Hyatt Regency. So I'm like past the southern tip of like, the furthest bit of downtown you would call, like of the downtown loop area. Um, I think I'm on 27, I'm, I'm, I'm 27 south right now. So I still gotta get to uh, like the 95th south. 
plenty of running to do, but I'm leaving. I'm pretty much out of the downtown city area. So it's just gonna be a lot of streets like this, a lot of scapes like this, vistas. Um, I think I'm gonna end up on a boulevard, which if you don't know, Chicago's got a rich history. Look up uh, some photos of the old boulevard system in Chicago. They got some beautiful streets. We're getting there. I'm having a good run. All these stops and me on that long, I went on like a long search throughout UIC to look for a bathroom. Um, I've got a very slow pace rocking right now, but I'm okay with it because today is about just getting the body, mind, and legs used to and gut used to being on my feet for three plus hours um, on these long runs. So, having a good day. It's beautiful weather out. Okay, butterfly watch 2021. Wow, so we're just waiting for them to get out of their cocoons, turn into butterflies. Wait, wait. I, I named it Cuckoo and Dozo. Oh, good names. All right, we're at Archer and Holman, taking a pit stop. We're technically halfway. I got stopped at Walgreens, got a bottle of water, a Coke, and it's Fritos. The thing about World Marathon and the 50 miler, when it gets to be like the more endurance style, where it's like, not racing a marathon or something like that a big thing and i mean even in even in the half the 10k half and the full marathon distance is a huge thing it's getting your body used to eating and processing food and drink all the essential fuel you need while running because your body's got to manage it differently when you're running but um i'm kind of setting my sight on the 50 miler and how you have to continuously be fueling the, and it's sometimes good, and everybody's body's different to fuel with things other than just sugar gels, you know? It's like I still have my Martins, but I was feeling hungry. I was feeling a little blah from like, I usually, I'm really bad about liquid and hydration on my long runs. Um, so I was like, you know what, there's a halfway mark, feeling good, um, but let's keep it up and do some mitigation plan working and get some of those snacks and you know, walk the next half mile while eating and drinking this and then get back to it. So, feel good. Um, much windier than I expected out here now that we're like leaving the city, but, and it's very overcast, so I wouldn't mind if the sun came out a little bit. Ever in the south side of Chicago, on Pulaski, 59th and Pulaski, Zaka's Tacos. Best tacos I've ever, ever had in my life. They have such a good hot sauce, such, just such delicious, delicious tacos. Zaka's Tacos. All right. I was, I was hitting a good start, so I better get back at it. I want to give you one last perspective of downtown because I'm on a overpass here by some train tracks and I think this is the highest last high point of the run but you can see there whoop, there's downtown there it is so I'm on like 70th Street South so still a good amount left to go still got eight miles or no seven miles I got seven miles left um, but the last three, the last four are going to be in Evergreen Park, like in my old neighborhood that I grew up in, because I got to do some circles. Um, so I'm about three miles away from like the town I grew up in. So the family just went to the park for a little bit. I am here still just nursing James and waiting for Peter to finish his 22 miles. I have two big cups of water set for him. Lunch ready. Um, 
what a kick butt guy. What a kick butt guy all around. Um, I did want to say that we have some friends in our most favorite place who sent us some vlog approved footage that I will put in here for just a little surprise bit of magic. Everybody say hi. Oh. Say hello. Did you call the baby lizard? I so did. What's up? Where are we talking to? <laughs> the homies. Miles, say hi. Henry, say hi. He's like inhaling his lemon. Are you loving it? Is it good? Yeah, here. Yeah. It's very hot. It's very humid. We're vibing. Happy Sunday, folks. Am I vlogging? Is this a vlog? Wait, wait, wait. Now. Go ahead. Go. Hi, Sarah. You miss them? Yeah. Aren't those your buddies? We're out here enjoying some treats. Yeah? They're gonna come here soon. Say cheers. cheers. Peter's running 22 miles. He could probably use some of that lemonade right now. Say what up, what up, what up, what up? Hey Miles, are you 40 inches tall? All right, well, we're gonna see if he goes on it. We're missing our friends. Oh, I don't know how they do this. Walking and talking business. They do it pretty well. It's not too bad today. We're gonna see if the kids go on rides for the first time. They're a little scared, but we'll see. We'll coerce them. How brave, but ultimately hopeless. There's nowhere to run. Recruits. Not what you sign on for, but hey, your resistance now. I think I have that authority. Right, Beck? So, you guys best know him as Peter's buddy Steve from Tampa. But what I like to call them are my dear friends, Steve, Leah, Henry, and Miles. We are doing some Disney talk today with the family because we're going to get, like, we're, we're coming up on our chance to make dining reservations. So my heart is just Disney happy today. And... Like, as I sit here in the quiet of the house, just with James, like, I know he's been to Disney a lot already as a little baby. Um, but just going, knowing that we're going back there, knowing, like, I don't know, that we're about to experience something so special again with him. A little bit older, a little bit more aware, like, my heart is full and it just the wait was worth it this time my sherry you didn't see a lot of those when we lived in florida because i don't know i don't think cemeteries exist in florida but sorry it's really busy i'm on a busy trip called pulaski um i'm officially in evergreen park i'm in like the very north west corner of evergreen i'm actually not i'm gonna run past sue's I'm gonna run to my parents, grab a quick cup of water, meet my brother there. My brother has recently started running. And when I text him a picture of UIC letting him know I was, I, that I was doing this long run, he's like, hey, if you're, if you're, if you've slowed to my pace by the time you get to the last three, four miles, let me know. And so I just called him. I said, hey, can you meet me at Mom's and Dad's and run the last three, four with me and then drive me home. We did it. Nailed I found it. him. He ran the last three miles with me. He's gonna run a 5K. I'm, uh, I'm gonna run a 5K with him. Virtual Dallas? We're doing it, yeah. Virtual Dallas Cowboys thing. My brother thinks he's a, a Texan. <laughs> Someone had to be born there. 
Yeah. You were born in Texas. Yeah. <laughs> Get it over here. How are you feeling, Peter? What? I feel good, but I'm so much <laughs> We're getting a late night rainbow cone before we all head back north. Oh yeah. And it's Grant and I and Vivi took the drive over to pick up orders. Vivi's son. Vivi's son. Give us a thumbs up, Vivi. Nice. Rainbow cone is south side. I don't even have a head on. Rainbow cone is south side famous. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at those lights. It's a very specific structure of a cone and you have to have it in that order here we are 9233 western avenue it's a famous uh, rainbow cone ice cream shop we got two bags six rainbow cones oh yeah and a pop pop pow and a pop pop pan. <laughs> a pop pop pan. A pow. <laughs> pow. <laughs> pow. <laughs> pop pop pan. <laughs> pow. <laughs> pop pop pan. <laughs> <laughs> you catch your breath. <laughs> Snort. <laughs> 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 Delicious and ready to go. Oh. Cheers. Did something happen? Something she plays We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>